guys aloha it's katie and it's day one of quarantine also yes these are n95 mascars i woke up with like exactly seven white heads on my nose it must have accumulated a lot of germs i have made it my mission today to make a website for covid19 donation funds here in the philippines we call them frontliners because they're the first line of defense they're the people who are actively trying to solve this situation and a lot of them are unequipped with face masks gloves food so what i'm trying to do is create a website for all these donations just as a quick 24-hour project to encourage people to donate it really surprised me when i messaged instagram and i asked if you guys knew any funds and either that post just didn't reach a lot of people or i only got two responses and i want to change that so the first thing i did last night when I had this idea is I took to Figma, which is a new design software I've been loving. I went through a heart. <laughs> I made some website mock-ups. I've taken one web development class. I'm currently enrolled in the intermediate version of that, but we're on pause right now. And I figured let's try to use some of my website skills. I've never actually deployed a website that I've coded for my laptop. So it's gonna be new to me, but I think I have enough knowledge to power through it. The goal is that people from whatever country can go on this site and see funds or causes they can support within their region. But also if they wanna support a different region, then they can easily see that here. I just wanted to keep it a very simple website. So voila, I also experimented a bit with mobile versions, but but in the end, I didn't realize I didn't have to mock it up because I would just shift all the boxes down. Not too difficult. And when I woke up today, I created the website. I'm so proud because I deployed my first website and not like a Wix website or whatever that I've made in the past, but an actual crusty website that I coded. I mean, it was literally like 10 lines, but I think this is very cool because it's my first time to actually see it come into fruition. It only says test, my beautiful site is live, Lamau, but I could actually access it on my phone context if y'all are nerding out with me right now i am planning on just using html and css for this website adam is my ide so that's just the environment in which i'm coding this and i'm using github to host the website and push the changes to make them live it is 10 30 a.m i woke up three hours ago and i'm ready to get this going It is coming together! Like, development is so much faster than I expected. Right now, I'm gonna upload what I have online by pushing it. By the way, pushing is just GitHub vocabulary for uploading it online. So, currently, my website, my beautiful website, is still this. But I am going to submit a push request update website with colors. I just have to write a message so I know what I changed at that specific time because the beauty of GitHub is if anything goes wrong, you can revert the website at a point in history. Okay, let's see it live! It might look really trash because it's not built for mobile or iPad or anything right now, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> Alright, it looks really crap. Oh my gosh. I am very proud to see this come into fruition. That's pretty cool. So another thing with coding that I think people don't realize is you usually don't know everything when you start coding and websites, documentation, tutorials become your best friend. Oh my gosh, I figured out flex wrap and I never really got it when I was still in class, but I was just like, this has to work and it did. So now it's beautiful. <laughs> <gasps> Quick website test though. I really hope this looks good on mobile. I mean, all right. Ah! Heck yes, it is beautiful on mobile. Now I'm gonna test to see how the website is looking on iPad. Pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with this. I have hit my knowledge capacity so if there are any of you who know who are watching and are familiar with html and css i could actually really use some help with this website so please email me alohakdg at gmail.com if you can help me out with this website you could just view source it honestly and you would see my code right now it is 1 39 pm i have this going on this is the original mock-up i had done this is what I actually came up with. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm very proud of my hover state with the drop shadow. Boom. And then, oh, 
these little animations I'm very proud of. <laughs> Time check, it is 7.40 p.m. I have finished the design for the website. Very happy with it, but since nobody seems to know where we can donate to, I am going to find this information by researching it myself. After I populate this with a few things, I am then going to publish it so it goes live. All right, I have purchased the domain. Now I just need to connect it with my website. DonateCovid19.org. Ah, oh, guys, it is live. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. I just published the website and blasted it on all my social media. DonateCovid19.org. And if you have suggestions for funds like the World Health Organization or Red Cross in your country, then please, I also have a form. Bit.ly slash donate COVID19. And the COVID19 is in all caps. All these I will link down below. But the last step for me is to just set up the Google Analytics so I know where traffic is coming from and to honestly encourage more of it so that we can get more people to donate. And see how many people are actually clicking. I've always wanted to show you guys a bit about the design coding and launching of a product and this is the first time I've done anything like this and especially not in only 24 hours so bear with me. still hope you find it cool and I will keep you guys updated for what else I do during my self-quarantining period. Please share the website with your friends so that we can get more people donating and also so we can get more funds on here because I really don't know where to donate and I don't think people know either so I'm trying to create this to push you guys to look in to your countries because when I came to the Philippines I didn't know what was going on I just tweeted somebody sent me this awesome guy in that movement that our vice president was leading and boom we suddenly have instant support and more money going to the people who need it most I will see you guys in less than a week with another new video bye guys I'll see you